Good morning. <clears throat> well, here we are on the fourth day of this um, Platinum Jubilee weekend. And I want to pick up on a thought that was in the Archbishop of York's message on Friday morning at that amazing service in the cathedral, <clears throat> talking about uh, the Queen's love of racing and that she was in a long race. Um, and of course, uh, he was he was also referring to uh, two passages in scripture, um, 1 Corinthians 9, 24 to 27, and uh, Hebrews 12, um, at the end of, well, verse one, Hebrews 12, one. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin that clings so closely and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. We are running a race and uh, he used the Queen's love of horse racing to uh, talk about her being in the saddle, still pursuing the race that she set out on 70 years ago. And I, I, I just thought some of the things that he said were absolutely wonderful. Um, he was talking about Paul writing and encouraging people to run the race as he had run the race, um, looking to him as an example. And the Archbishop was saying we should look to the Queen for an example. Um, and it's a, it was printed in full in our newspaper yesterday, so it's lovely to read it. Um, he's, he includes thanking her the Queen for staying the course. Thank you for continuing to be faithful to the pledges you made 70 years ago. Thank you for showing us how service and faithfulness matter. People of all faiths and no faiths and people of goodwill can learn from this. And then he says, sometimes people say to me that the Christian faith is just a prop. I couldn't agree more. I'm not ashamed to say I lean on Jesus Christ, that I'm trying to live close to his heart, that I need his wisdom and his hope. And if you will forgive such presumption, this is what I also say, see in Her Majesty, the Queen. And to the people of our great nation on this great and historic day, I say this, we are indeed living in a time of uncertainty and challenge, and we would do well to consider where we will find the replenishing we need. What I see in Her Majesty the Queen is someone who has been able to serve our nation faithfully because of her faith in Jesus Christ. Perhaps there is no better way of celebrating her platinum jubilee than by doing the same ourselves. Serving our nation faithfully because of her faith in Jesus Christ. I thought that was a wonderfully clear message from the Archbishop on Friday. We are in a race. Sometimes it just feels like the road ahead of us goes on forever and nothing seems to change. Um, you can be like that when you're driving a long distance and uh, perhaps you've got your sat-nav going and it says, in 13 miles, turn left. <laughs> and you've got to just keep going straight on until you've completed those 13 miles and you turn left. Um, and it seems like that sometimes in our life, that we're in a period of our life where we just have to keep going. And that that quality of endurance and faithfulness and steadfastness and unshakableness that the Queen has shown through her life, that even at times of, of great sadness for her, great difficulty, she has stuck to the race. She has kept going. And this is what we need to do. And the scripture encourages us to do that. Let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, or the author and finisher of our faith, who himself set the example of endurance by enduring the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. And that is what we're aiming for. We're aiming for the prize at the end of the race, that moment when we 
enter the nearer presence of God, to the throne room of heaven. Cast our achievements before the great achiever, Jesus, and worship. That's what we're aiming for. And while we're here, we have to lay aside every weight and the sin that so closely clings to us, running with perseverance. We're not in a sprint. We're in a marathon, more than a marathon. We're in a lifelong race. So that all the time we have energy, every morning, every day that we wake up, we set our face towards Jesus. We determine to look to him, as the Archbishop said, to lean on him. To lean on him and try to live close to his heart. The closer we get, the more we look at Jesus, the less we think about ourselves and this, this ability to serve others that the Queen has demonstrated so clearly will be ours as well. What an example she has set to people. And uh, it's been fantastic to see the, the devotion um, and, and the, the wonderful things said about her by so many people who, that she's met. She fully engages in every encounter. Doesn't matter how many people she's met before, she meets the next person with the same um, concentration, the same focus. Um, reflecting, I think, for us, how the Lord is with us. He, we are the apple of his eye. Even though he's got, I don't know how many people to look after. He treats us as if we're the most special thing he has ever created. We are the apple of his eye. His focus, his concentration, his devotion to us is unfailing and is faithful. And we need to focus on Jesus in return. Looking to Jesus. Keep your eyes on the pace setter and follow him to the end. That's my thought for the day. I hope you have a great Jubilee Sunday and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.